planet freeze. The ultimate barren wasteland. No wildlife. No civilization. Six men. Wait, what the fuck? No civilization. God. Lie to Anyway. No civilization. Six men trapped here. Had to survive. One of them is a deranged. One of them is a deranged bird man. Tyler! Even though you will only see three people in this movie, such as these two bird men, there are six people. This is our story. This is gonna be one crazy night. We've managed to get an interview with one of our five men now. What is your thoughts? Well, I don't, I don't really think the dogs are doing much. The, all they do is sniff around, mess, play around, and they just eat our food and drink our water. Look, where are we gonna get water? It's all frozen. Ice, ice, no, no water in it at all. This I don't amazing. need time for music right now, all right? Ice Ice Baby is not a good song. Look, there's one of the dogs now. What is he doing that pisses you off? Look at his cute little face. So I'm gonna break it in. Just walking around, prancing. <laughs> I just... I wait, wait. I managed to get an interview with one of these dogs. Her name is Dee. Dee? D, D, look at me. D, D, don't run away. See what I mean? They don't pay attention. Neil, they just shut up. It's not your interview. D apparently doesn't think. D, what do you think about Neil? He doesn't seem to like you very much. Oh, is that what you think? You just don't have time for him. Buck, Buck, he doesn't like you very much. He thinks you just eat our food. What do you think? Oh, you're slipping. You're slipping. Your mind is slipping. You don't have time for this because your mind is slipping out of whack. Is that what you're trying to tell me, Buck? Now you don't have time for this either. Nightfall. Even though you see it doesn't really look like night. Camera on me, please. Let's keep it focused, gentlemen. Nightfall. We discovered... You the camera! Nightfall. We've discovered that there are for the two out in the distance. As you can see, there's one there. Oh, you missed it. Okay, never mind. The for the p ah! Nightfall. We've discovered that in the distance, there's for the poo. Shut up, Jake! I don't care! You can't tell me what to do! Yes, I can! Just because your father left you! Don't hate me, because I hate your father! And Ron, I hate my father! It's, oh, would you just shut up? I hate you, hate you, I hate you! Would you just shut up? Back, sass me! Frick! We have no idea where these supplies came from. But we managed to scavenge them from somewhere. This here appears to be some kind of firearm. Very dangerous. These are high potential ovens. You stick crap in there, and by crap I mean crap, and out comes delicious pastries. Straight from the demon's butthole. We well, managed to find this, which could be a comfortable bed. These Siphon tubes, as we like to call them, transform you into a size that fits into here. Ah, amazing. This, although it looks like that one gun, it is actually a Neil Titan exchange. A Neil Titan exchange. You know what it does? Shoots objects into space. You see this? You see this delicious pastry? Look at this. Look at this. Amazing. Modern science on the ice planet. I would love to meet the scientists. It 
space. You don't even know where I came from. Anyway, so far we haven't seen any of the food. And my psychopathic other side of me that you saw in our last intro hasn't come. And we saved the best for last. We found a dead flizzapoo. These things actually are vicious beasts. When you put it in the oven, it actually turns into a delicious crumble cake. <laughs> this actually- OH MY GOD IT'S ALIVE! <laughs> kidding. Kidding. But if it was alive, it would jam itself down your throat, out your nose, out your ears, in your ears, and out your anus eventually with your insides in it. Don't mess with it. Don't be stupid. Finally, salvation. As you can see, our young bird man has found a transportation hub of vehicles. Now we can get off this planet. After seven years and nine days, we finally got off. Now let's interview our, s actually not six, three people and figure out what they think about this outrageous event. Now let's talk to Neil. What? What is it? How does this make you feel? You know, I think I was the strongest one of us six, but I had a little secret. Rubber ball capsule. Pop one of these in your mouth, survive for like three years. You'll have to eat another bite. I was just eating their food for fun of them. <laughs> so stupid. You know, now I can finally go home and just go not in the Iceland and you know, just have fun and go home. Sweet. Free Willy style. Sweet. <laughs> I probably just don't want to do this. But I'll miss this place. Hey. Now we are with Jake Courtright. After watching the little Birdman's interview, actually apparently not because the doctor, but I think, I really think he has lost his sexual sense of what he is, his sexual identity. Because he's going to miss this place and he had to hang with five guys. Six. Or, actually, there was only six guys to begin with. One what happened guy, to the fifth guy? He died. He, oh. He's got his anus be dry. Anyway, I... He had to hang with five guys for seven years. I'm not sure how that works out. Anyway, I don't know how, how I'm going to feel about this place. Oh my, oh my god! I don't know how I'm going to feel about this place. You know, part of me thinks... What are you talking about, part of me? I'm not part of you! I'm my old man! Don't you shut up! Shut up! Don't tell me to shut up! You're just as part of this as I am. No, I'm not! Dad never liked you! Yes, he did! Shut up! He never liked you! He never liked both of us! Because we're the same! No, we're freaking not! I told you! 